Now what we have here is a small hive beetle larvae. I can't get any closer with the camera than this and I can't really see it with my naked eyes but hopefully the camera will pick it up. I'm sure I'll be able to see it with a magnifying glass or in a microscope but I'm not sure whether the camera will pick it up. The difference between small hive beetle larvae and wax moth larvae one of them has feet all along the underside of its body and the other one doesn't. The one that doesn't has just a group of feet at the front and another group of feet near the tail. And the one and one of them has furs along the back. Depending on what you see on this one, you can rule it out whether you've got wax moth or small hive beetle larvae. And I think with the wax moth larvae you can see through the skin, you know, the intestines and things like that. And they do grow quite a lot longer. I don't know whether the oh, I think I can see hairs through the monitor on the back. Oh yeah, you can see the feet through the monitor. So what it looks like on the big screen I'll find out. I think that might tell the how many feet it's got.